In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the Church today celebrates the sanctity of St. Ambrose, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. He was the former Archbishop of Milan. Let us ask for his prayer and intercession that we too, may always be faithful sons and daughters of the Church. To, pre pre to prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage, raise up in your church men after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles this in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's, the just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Please stand. the Lord when he may be found, and him when he is near. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. But it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. And it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Isang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Mga ginigili kong kapatid, bakit may mga tao na kahit sunod-sunod ang problemang dumarating sa buhay, namatay ang asawa, nagkasakit ang anak, o kaya naman, katulad ng dati kong parishioner, namatay ang anak, pagkatapos ilang linggo, nasunugan pa. Pero, sa kabila ng lahat, kalmado. Kalmado. Hindi mo kakikitaan ng uh, panik. Hindi mo kakikitaan ng kawalan ng pag-asa. At meron naman, no, meron naman, kaunting kurot lang, kung makahiyaw eh, sobra. Isang pagsubok lang eh, sumusuko na. Bakit? Bakit may mga ganong tao? Perhaps the answer to this question can be found in the Gospel. There are two types of men or persons building. And Jesus said, The first one, a wise man, built his house on rock, while the foolish one built his house on sand. Now, take note, take note, both houses underwent the same trials. In the first, the rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. But the second one experienced the same. The rains fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. Parehong pareho. 
Parehong pareho ng naranasan. Parehong pareho ng pinagdaanan. Pero yung isang bahay na, kat- na, kat- uh, na natiling nakatayo, samantala yung isa ay sirang-sira. Bakit? Kasi nakatat- nakatayo ang unang bahay sa matatag na pundasyon. Samantala yung ikalawang bahay nakatayo sa buhangin. Siguro, yun ang dahilan. Bakit may mga tao na kahit na ang daming pagsubok na dumaraan sa kanilang buhay, nananatiling kalmado, nananatiling payapa ang, ang mukha, hindi naliligaling sapagkat sila'y nakakapit sa Diyos. Ang kanilang pananampalataya ay nakatindig sa isang matibay na pundasyon na kahit anuman ang mga pagsubok na dumating, nananatili silang matatag sapagkat alam nilang nakahawak sila sa Diyos. Mga ginigili kong kapatid, saan nakaangkla ang ating buhay? Kanino tayo nakakapit? Alam nyo, naisip ko rin, kahit sa relasyon, ganun din eh. Nasaan ang matatagpuan ang tibay ng isang relasyon? Sa mag-asawa, for example, no? sa mga mag-asawa na naririto, sa mga mag-asawang nagtatagal, kamakailan lang na inyayahan akong magmisa no? sa renewal ng isang mag-asawang limampung taon nang nagsasama. Golden wedding anniversary. Sabi ko nga sa kanila, congratulations po, ah. bihira na po yung nakakarating ng golden. Eh. 25, yes. Pero yung golden, wala na. Bihira na. And then, nangiti sila. Pero, malamang ang kanilang relasyon, ang kanilang pagmamahalan ay nakaugat sa kanilang pagmamahal sa Diyos. Kaya kahit anong relasyon, kahit na tumagal pa yan ng 11 years, no? hindi rin sigurado yan <laughs> kung hindi yan nakatayo sa pundasyon na walang ibas kundi si Kristo. Kaya yung mga magsyota dito, ha? No? <laughs> Tignan nyo, saan ba yan nakaangkla? Ha? Kung sasabihin nyo, ah, nakaangkor yan sa aming pagmamahal sa isa't isa. Wow! No? Yun lang? Hindi. Dapat ang pagmamahal ninyo nakaangkla sa pagmamahal nyo sa Diyos. Why? Because in this first reading, for example, it is said here, a strong city have we, a nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, trust in the Lord forever. A strong city have we, A strong relationship have we because we trust in the Lord forever. Amen. Please stand. Confident that He will grant us what we ask for, we make our prayer to God the Father with a sincere heart, saying, Loving Father, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That the Pope, bishops, priests, and religious may be faithful to their commitment to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Loving Father, Father, hear hear our our prayer. prayer that politicians and all those who serve in government 
may be faithful to their promises and obligations. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer, that our faith may find solid ground in our examples rather than in our words. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer, that all of us who handle duties and responsibilities may carry out our tasks efficiently. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer, that our departed relatives and friends may finally receive their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our, our prayer. Father, you are our strength in time of need. Open our hearts to your grace and lead us into your kingdom. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit Fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightened St. Ambrose for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just our duty, and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Ambrose, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, of, Lamb God, of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on mm. us. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Lead us who have been strengthened by the power of this sacrament, O Lord, so to profit from the teaching of St. Ambrose, that hastening fearlessly along your paths, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, I would like to thank you, uh, do, those who participated in the ongoing campaign of Share a Toy. So yung pong mga laruan ng inyong mga anak o mga apo na hindi na nila ginagalaw o pinaglalaruan ay pwede nyo pong ibahagi. The campaign will last until December 11. So you have until December 11 to share a toy. Secondly, 
our cathedral calendar for 2024 is now available at the souvenir uh, shop. So at the, the, the price of 120. So uh, just for your information. And tomorrow, uh, the solemnity of our, of the Immaculate Conception, it's a holy day of obligation. So you should go to Mass like Sunday. Our masses would be 8 and 10 in the morning, 12, 10 in the afternoon, and 4 and 6. And also tomorrow, we will allow you to come near the image. You may go up to the sanctuary to pray to the image of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception and take some picture. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is op has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.